Hey YouTube, this is Bill. This is the follow-up video. I'm working on using a watt meter to figure out how many watts an external power source would be needed, minimum power in watts, to run the Pro 32 Sub 2. My last videos, I just did testing of the Sub 2 and the Sub 1 by itself, but now I have it hooked up to the base, the full column, the Pro 32 unit. So here I have it set on the Sub 2 at 11 o'clock on the base unit, also 11 o'clock. I'm running through the AUGs out into an iPad. This is the track I just played, Summer in 1987 by Yoshi Harikawa, a very heavy bass track. I'm not going to play it for you because I don't want to do any copyright infringement, but it was very loud. That's why you see my hearing protection I'm using. I'm not going to play that game of trying to hear max volume and damage my hearing. I am behind the column and it's print plenty incredibly loud, even with hearing protection, shaking the floor. So here we got 103 dB. That is my max volume at these settings. And now let's look at how many watts this whole unit pulls at that volume. So there it is, 238.2 watts. That's on the Kuman watt meter. So again, a fairly low reading, in my opinion. Remember the the subwoofer is 1,000 watts. The base unit is 480. So that's close to 1,500 watts. And all you need is 238. Of course, you need to, this, act, this watt meter is not 100% accurate. So let's round it up to 300 watts. 300 watts will run this system. Now, here is my thought on it though. I don't usually play this loud. So a 300 watt system, a external power source will work, but there's always peaks. So I'm thinking I'm going to use my 400 watt external power source for this system. And I'm gonna be pretty comfortable thinking I have the extra headroom and for situations where peaking on different tracks so that's my recommendation. I'm gonna play you a sound demo of a different track. It probably won't be quite as loud as this. I'm gonna use a track that I created actually. You might have heard it on other YouTube videos I've created. I made it from GarageBand, but it has some nice bass and I'll give you an idea of how loud it is and how many watts it's pulling. So before we start the sound demo, here is the system idling. The subwoofer is on, the base unit is on, and it's only pulling 29.3 watts. Okay, so that's our, our base number where we start. Let's see, and it says high at the bottom of the watt meter. So that's gonna show us the maximum watts it's going to pull to play this track. And this track um, does have some good bass to it. Again, I would normally not play at these volumes, so just consider lowering the volume and you would be that many less watts you would be pulling. And that much longer you can play. The louder you play, the, le the less you're gonna get out of your battery source. So if you play at normal volumes, you might get four hours. Just gave you a figure off the top of my head. If you play at maximum volume, you might get three or two hours cut in half. Okay, here we go with the sound demo, a track that I created using my iPad as the source. The iPad is at 95%.
So I did test the track before I recorded it, and I pushed it up to 11.30. If I pushed it to 12 noon, I started to get flickering red on the sub too. So I lowered it. So basically, this is about as loud as it's gonna get without any clipping from the sub, without it doing any damage. But again, I want to state, I don't usually play volumes like this. So this is really maximum listening, maximum stress or pull on an external power source. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so 102.8 dB, which is super loud. Again, I'm using hearing protection. And that, by the way, this figure is behind the column. So I can imagine how loud it would be in front of the column. Again, behind the column, you lose a lot of the 180 degrees throw of the Pro 32. And here is the max wattage that it pulled, 104.4, which is really nothing. I think these, these findings are really surprising. I can't believe it's only pulling that little amount of watts at this power, at this volume. So, interesting findings. So, why did I make this video? Well, first of all, I want to know, do I need to go out and spend a thousand dollars or more for an 800 watt unit to run this system properly? And the answer is definitely no. I'm not going to spend that money. I see that this system can run safely on a 400 watt system. Maybe if you want to be really generous, go up to 500 watts, but you really do not need the 1,000 watts. Now, people are saying they're using 1,000 watts for a system like this because they're DJing and they need it for hours and hours at high volumes. So again, I'll state it. Uh, the, more, the louder you play, the higher dBs, the less time you're going to run the system. But I have a feeling, at, even at this max volume, my 400 watt unit will run two or plus hours. I'm not a DJ. I'm not going to be doing any of those extended time testing, so please don't ask me. All I can do is estimate. Okay, this is Bill. Hope you enjoyed the track. I created it. Pretty heavy bass, I have to admit, and I think the findings are interesting. Hope you enjoyed. Later.